good morning, good morning, guys. Welcome to the show. <clears throat> we are getting a little bit of a late start today. Since I'm not feeling that great. And the thing is, it's a first come, first serve at this place that I'm delivering to. And uh, the other place that I'm picking my load up at... Uh, is only scheduled to be picked up at uh, one o'clock this afternoon and uh, I'm only an hour drive from getting there right so I figured ah, uh, I'll wait a little bit here you know this place opens at 7 already and it's 8 30 right now I figured I'd just take it easy a little bit this morning since I'm feeling a little sick <clears throat> And then we'll go deliver this load and I should still have plenty of time to uh, get this load off and then uh, get down to our reload location for one o'clock this afternoon so that should be no problem <clears throat> Let's go make our delivery, guys. Appreciate you guys tuning in, even though I'm sick today. May not be the it's greatest video today, miles, but left on South Leonard Road. we're going to try our best, right? That's what we always do. We're going to try and be positive if we can. And just finished uh, miles. getting offloaded, guys. Now we're heading back onto the interstate. We got about 53 miles to go till we get to our uh, reload customer. GPS says we should be there uh, 12 minutes before 12. And that's what I was kind of saying all along, right? My appointment is only for one. I kind of figured, you know, even if I went there a little bit later to get offloaded, I should still be all right, you know? And that turned out to be true. So far, anyways. So, let's hope it ain't gonna take four and a half hours to get reloaded over there like it did one time before. Not last time I was there, it actually only took about two hours. But the one time prior to that, it took, uh, it took a good while. It really did. But anyways, let's get on down there and uh, keep my fingers crossed it ain't going to take too long. I've been taking some Dayquil uh, capsules here so that way I can maybe function properly and so far it seems to be working. So yeah. Anyhow, we got nice sunshine today. I know it's going to be a little bit of a different video today I guess you could say but oh well in the city 47 mile alrighty guys we have just finished getting our reload on I have no idea how long it took because I was busy editing my uh, website so I didn't really pay too much attention to it but hey here we are back at it again and we're feeling all right, but I feel weak today. But uh, yeah, so we got our load. And now it's time to hammer down on our way home, sweet home. I gotta do at least, well, I would say at least 150 miles to 200 miles today in order for me to make it home tomorrow night, so. And I really want to do that. I want to try and make it home tomorrow night, so that way, uh, that way I can uh, take a reset and then leave again on Friday. And I'm hoping this time I'll get me a little bit of a better trip than I have right now. So that would be really nice. And also, you know, relax a little bit, have a day off since I'm sick, right? But anyhow, here we go. Let's go. Alrighty, guys, we have just entered into uh, 
<clears throat> Iowa. And we got a chicken coop coming up here in a few minutes, but uh, the sun is starting to disappear on this, so I figured I'd try and at least make one more clip because it's very difficult today to get any kind of decent video in. Yeah, it's because I'm sick. And, uh, yeah, I ate quite a few of them candies already to try and keep my throat moisturized, but it seems like it's getting more difficult and more difficult, but hopefully I can still speak tomorrow. If I don't make a video the day after tomorrow, well, I'll be home. <laughs> That might just take me a day or two off, who knows. Yep. It's no fun making any kind of video when you're sick like this. You have no energize to make it interesting and it feels like I'm dragging you guys down instead of really making an interesting video, right? But the chicken coop is closed. Good thing. That's for sure. I'm down to 678 miles, so I think if I go up to Council Bluff, I, or around that area, I think I should be okay. I think I should be uh, able to just uh, spend the night there and then uh, continue on my journey tomorrow. I should be able to make it home tomorrow. But anyhow, let's go ahead and get out of here. I'm having difficulties talking. So we'll talk to you guys probably later. All right, we got a smoky bear up here that just pulled over this four-wheeler up here. I don't know what the four-wheeler was doing, but uh, the cop came uh, right beside me there and I seen them uh, pull on this flashing light stern. <laughs> For a second, I thought he might be pulling up beside me to pull me over, but no, he uh, apparently pulled over that car. All right, guys, we went down to the Loves just before Council Bluff, uh, Iowa, and uh, I decided to pull in here, fuel up the truck, and went in and had me a very nice shower, and I got me some uh, night coil uh, pills so I can take those and have me a good night's sleep. And now what we're doing now is uh, warming up a little bit of food here. Let me just go ahead and close this. So that way that should be nicely, uh, nicely heated up here. And a little bit I'm really hoping anyways. So uh, in the meanwhile, I just finished scheduling my video for tomorrow. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead and have me a good bite to eat here in a little bit and go straight to bed. I'm tired. So with that being said, I'm going to also go ahead and close the show. Have a good day, everybody, and hope you didn't get sick. So we'll see you on tomorrow's vlog.